Whoa, whoa, what's going on guys? Lucas here with Love Comes Gaming, and welcome back to another video on Mob Mayhem. Guys, I have been AFK here for three to four hours because I've been needing to collect a lot of bones because... I've been working away at the wall, of course, and I've been working at the ceiling or what we're going to do for the ceiling. So I've just been, oh, look at them just flying in. I've been working away at this. Glad to see there's nothing jamming up. And I'm trying to make it so you guys can't see what I've done off camera. But all the chests have been cleaned up and organized. All of this has actually been sorted through. Sorted through. There we go. And yeah, things are looking really, really good. I have fallen in a hole. So let's take a look at all of our loot. So we have got... This was to about here before I started. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. All right, arrows. Well, we've got three double chests worth and some of arrows. Now, we definitely had a lot more before I went AFK, but whatever. Lots of gunpowder. Yeah, I don't have a string farm yet, so that's not doing it. Farn? Wow. Dang, the coal's doing good. And spider eyes. I, I'm actually genuinely surprised that we have that many spider eyes. Where the heck do all the spider eyes come from? I must just kill them over time or something. I don't know. And yeah, all of our steak is down below, of course. But this is still working beautifully. Ooh, how's the witches doing? Oh, glowstone like crazy. Um, yeah, cool. So this is working good. Loads of sticks. Plenty of things still constantly dying. How's our iron? Yeah! I went through a lot of iron making hoppers and stuff, so that's filling in nicely. And yeah, I definitely need to make some more bones. But I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. What I did off camera was of course I organized up all these items. I have started laying out where the doors are gonna go. And I've been almost I've almost filled in all of this misty looking ground. I think it's looking really good. But I also made the overflow, like the stuff that doesn't have a spot in there, gets thrown into all of this here. So it starts from this side, going up here. And it's going to go boom, 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 and then up this side, boom, 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 yeah, over to there. So, it's, it's, it's not perfect. You'll notice, like, I've got a spot for light blue dye, I've got a spot for gold, gravel, maybe I've run out of gravel. Let me take a look here. I went collecting for a bunch more gravel. Where's all my gravel? Yeah, I've actually filled up all my gravel. That makes sense. See, I went hunting for a bunch more gravel. So when things start to get full, that has to go into the overflow. So I'm glad that's working. But yeah, so we definitely didn't have too much gold or glowstone or, I don't know, slabs, oak wood. Like, it doesn't work perfectly. So I may have to come in here every once in a while and throw it into this chest for example if i throw these items they're gone almost instantly because i've got like eight or nine hoppers minecarts down there which is then transferring the items back to this chest here which is actually down to the dropper down there but yeah not not, not important anywho Aside from the minor kinks that the system isn't working perfectly, it is doing a relatively good job. Like, there's just, like, single items of everything and two diamonds. Yeah, that happened. But got all the mob drops from the other killing area. Ladders have a spot, I believe. Oh, there's one other item there. There we go. Beautiful. So what we are going to do today 
is a huge, super efficient furnace system. Doesn't that sound amazing, right? Right? Furnace system? Yeah. Doesn't sound like the most thrilling thing. Ooh, actually, before we do that, I you can see here, I kind of changed the um, mob killing area. So if I flip... Oh, wait, there's a creeper! How did I not see the creeper? <laughs> I saw the creeper. I just didn't acknowledge the creeper. That could have ended badly. Um, so yeah, this is where the actual mobs go now. They come to the side there, and the side over here. So let me just, you know, flick all these levers. And we'll get a nice pile of mobs going. And... Yeah, I'll show you guys that working. Okay, so I've been standing here for about, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes. Just letting them build up over here. And... It's actually a really good XP farm. Oh. Don't mind if I. Anyways, we'll turn this all back off. And now I've got all of the hopper systems over here hooked up with the um, items over here. So you'll see these are from all of the mobs I just killed. Yeah, it's a perfect system. I'm really liking the way it's working out. But, yeah, I think we should get right into it. We're going to clean up this mess and start building our furnace system. Uh, so to start, we need to make ourselves a bunch of concrete. Oh, that made a lot more than I was expecting. We got four and four. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Beautiful. Now, I gotta turn this all back into... Ugh, the thing I... One of the things I hate the most. But where are my buckets at? Ooh, should have a water bucket inside one of these chests. I got a lot of buckets inside one of these chests.
All right, so I just put this platform down. This is, I think, where the furnace area is going to be. I just, I don't know how I want to lay out. I want, like this room, you can see all the droppers, the hoppers. There's redstone lamps indicating things. I like the look of it. I like the industrial field. Or industrial field. The industrial field behind it. But it's also got a lot of class to it. So I want the similar style with this room. So we're going to have like chests on this side. And I want to have a bunch of furnaces on the other side. But I just, I, I don't know. I need it to be functional. Which means I need to have furnaces with hoppers underneath, at the backs, and on top of them. So. Hmm. Let's grab some bone blocks. And I'll build like a wall so we can have something to work off of. Alright guys, so this is the basic layout that I think that I think is going to work. I gotta break these blocks, of course. But the plan is to have a minecart go over top of these hoppers that is delivering the items, like the raw meat, cobblestone, glass, or sand, all that kind of stuff. And then underneath all these hoppers is gonna be a hopper line going to a chest. And I don't know. I may have to bring this one out and then down and then over. That's probably what I'm going to have to end up doing. But yeah, and then I'm going to repeat it on the top there so we have twice as many uh, furnaces going. This was one block lower before, but then I realized I wouldn't have had enough room to do what I want to do with it. So I have to lift it up one block. But yeah, I am going to see if I can get the minecart in for the coal at the back and the items at the top. Alright guys, so I am just finishing up all of the hoppers. This is what we've got so far. The hoppers going along underneath all of the furnaces. And I'm about to finish up this last row here. On top of the furnaces, I've got the hoppers now, come on. I got the hoppers on top of all the furnaces with the minecart going back and forth. I still have to figure out how to power this particular. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out still. But it's going up and wrapping around, coming this way. And I've also got the minecart. Can I reach this? Apparently I can, but. Let me have an open hand. So aside from the slow start, there we go. Oh! It goes, it does a really good job, and die! And you should see it come back. There it is there. Perfect. Then I just have to turn this off. So that's that minecart that's going around right now is actually doing going to be doing coal and stuff like that. <laughs> and right now it's got the wood, some wooden sticks in it because I added another filter right to the side here. And instead of taking the coal out of the middle over there, I'm taking it out of the end now. And now the coal is going to be coming along into here. So anything. Any coal from our mob farm is going to get dumped right into the storage system here. Which I think is actually really cool. But yeah, I just have to finish up this last little bit of hoppers. And when I get them all cleaned up... Ooh, didn't think that through. 
So I'm going to have to pull these guys underground to connect with that hopper over there. Because that's going to come down and into a... I don't know if I'm going to do an elevator or just have it funnel right into the storage system. I'm thinking about just having it funnel right into the storage system. That way it is pretty well seamless. It looks really nice. And I can build the ceiling right around here and not have to worry about trying to fit in everything everywhere else. So I will get this side connected with that over there. I need more mine or hoppers for that. And hopefully. Um, we can start working on the ceiling to finish off this room. Okay guys, so I did something that I don't really know if it's going to keep or how we're going to fix the mess, but it's, I kind of really, really like this. So watch, if I want to s smelt some stuff, I throw whatever I want to smelt inside here and then I just launch it and it goes. Didn't actually get stuck there. All right, cool. And it's going to come all the way back. All the way back till it falls back down here where I can just launch it again. <laughs> like, I don't know how awesome is that? I, I really like that. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do about all this. I don't, I don't know. But I think for our purposes, I think this is pretty much done. I'm just going to fill this back in and you know what I'm probably going to end up doing? I think over all these doors, I should do a door frame. It'll help with this one, but it actually might give the base a little bit more of a, like a, a design. So this one I can't do much about. Hmm. Yeah, maybe door frame's not gonna do it. Banners? No. Maybe? No. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try placing some bone bone blocks down and we'll see how it looks. Alright guys, so I think I have just about cleaned up this wall. I'm really hoping this looks good. It does look good. So what I did, I just, I just made it thicker. So you'll notice here that it's actually two blocks thick all the way through instead of just one block. And I just brought the wall all the way up. So now it's not a perfect circle, but it's so big that you won't even know. This side I'm going to have to do something with. I'm probably going to do it when I build the roof. I got to make it so the Enderman can't spawn inside there. But yeah, this is pretty much done. Let me go drop off a bunch of stuff. That's the wrong chest. Here we go. So this. And let's smelt a bunch of cobblestone. So what I need to do is grab a bunch of cobblestone. Throw it inside of this here chest and I don't know if any coal has made it there yet so I just want to make sure this is 100% going to work the first time through so let me grab a bunch of coal here and we will throw it inside this thing Yes, okay, so it's actually filtering out where it needs to be filtering out. Coal is now making its way down. Perfect. So I should be able to hit this lever. Oh, that's what that chest was inside my inventory for. I took it out. <laughs> Let me get that back in there. So 
So now if I hit this lever... Yeah, it is sending around. Lots of coal inside here. That's not a good sign. <laughs> what the heck? Okay guys, so I found the problem. I'm pretty sure this is actually going to work this time. So the problem was is that I had these hoppers on the back side of these furnaces, right? Which is, why wouldn't that work? Well, it wouldn't work because the minecart feeding the coal in is feeding on top, right? So when I put these hoppers, which ones were they? The hoppers at the back of these furnaces, going around the corners at the back, these hoppers are going over top of it. And hoppers pull down first before they push in. So it's kind of hard to show you without actually digging my way back in there again. But this should actually work this time. Fingers crossed, I've already ran through the coal a bunch, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I'm going to go grab some more cobblestone, just so we can see this working. Cobblestone goes in, and finally, we push the button, and fingers crossed. Okay, aside from those two, everything lit up but these two and they don't have coal in them so i will dig my way around back again and figure out why they don't have coal in them okay so it does work there just happened to be no coal that time all right good to know so now Yes, yes, it worked. Oh, that was a long three hours. I cannot believe it took us three hours to make this horrible looking thing. I mean, it's it, it's it's a pretty cool curvy furnace system. And everything that we smelt goes inside here. And it's actually working, as you can see. So that's cool. But, yeah. Alright guys, so that's all we got time for in today's video. If you liked the video, then hit that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the channel, what you think of this series, and other things like that. But guys, most importantly, please do not forget to have a lovely day. Bye guys. Oh, you stupid Enderman. <laughs> Seriously? Bye, guys. I'm gonna kill you with my fist. Ha <laughs> ha